Beautiful out there. You look out the weather window. Sure enough, we got the beautiful weather to end the work week with, and you can see it on the storm tracker map. Yeah, no storms over Idaho anywhere, even up to the north. A few clouds, we'll call it mostly clear. What a nice way to end that work week. We're not going to stay this way, though. We'll start off pretty nice, but latter half the weekend, it just goes to pot. Yeah, we're going to see temperatures really nose off here quite a bit. So enjoy these numbers while we have them. 86 currently at Pocatello, 84 in Idaho Falls, certainly warmer down south and off towards the west. A warm spot on the map goes to Pendleton, Oregon, 96 degrees. Wow, that's a little more than just warm. Hot over in Lewiston at 94, down in Elko, Elko at 92. So tonight's forecast, mostly clear. Low temperatures will mainly be in the 50s. One exception, American Falls, you'll see a low of about 60. St. Anthony will be in the 50s. Mid 40s in Stanley, 53 expected in Salmon. Mackey around 53 degrees. Arco will see a low temperature of 53 as well. Mostly clear for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Lows will range from the mid 40s to the mid 50s. 53 in Dubois. 52 will be the, a low temperature over in Driggs. So a quiet night out there for everyone. Even the southeast corner, a couple of clouds this evening for good measure, but that's about it. Near uh, 50 in Soda Springs. Montpelier, you're looking at a low of 47. Then tomorrow, you're a little warmer, Montpelier, along with the rest of us. Uh, we'll hit 91 in Milad City. That's a hot day for Oneida County. And then later on, sometime in the evening, nighttime, we could see some showers and thunderstorms develop. This is kind of a preview of what we're going to see for sure for your Sunday. Now, tomorrow's forecast for the Upper Highlands of Western Wyoming, it starts off beautifully. Nice weather. And then the clouds will start to build later in the day, and we could see some showers and thunderstorms as early as early evening. So just be prepared. Keep your eye to the sky. Temperatures will warm up comfortably, almost 80 in Driggs and over in Afton, 82 for high in Dubois. Now for the Central Mountains, more clouds than anything, with a little bit of sunshine mixed in. A very warm day, and a hot day in Pocatello will hit 90. And then tomorrow evening, nighttime, we could see some showers and thunderstorms. Rexburg warm with a high of 86. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Here it goes, down it goes, I should say. Sunday, wow, 30 degrees cooler for an afternoon high. We got some wind, rain likely, umbrella weather for sure, risk of thunderstorms. And the coolest day coming up will be on Monday, only 58 degrees. Thankfully, that's not going to be a uh, stick around for too long. I don't fall seven day forecast 60. Ah, just a big hit and if, if as if 60 wasn't cool enough, Monday high of only 57 for the Teton area. No snow in the forecast for Jackson, Jackson, Apton or Driggs, but definitely a possibility in the Tetons. A wet end of the weekend and cooler couple of days only in the 50s. We could see some showers and thunderstorms linger into next Wednesday and for the Central Mountains dry tomorrow. But as you can see, not so dry on Sunday, not so dry on Monday. Only 55, keeping the wet weather around at least till Tuesday.